Meanwhile, House lawmakers delivering articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to the Senate yesterday. Senators will be sworn in as jurors this morning for the upcoming impeachment trial. Meanwhile, Mayorkas was testifying on Capitol Hill for his 2025 budget request. He dodged questions about terrorist threats at the border. Watch this. How many persons on the terror watch list have gotten into this country? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd be pleased to provide you with data subsequent to this hearing. And will you provide the names and backgrounds? Let, let me assure you um, that the security of the American people is our highest priority. Customs and Border Protection have now arrested 76 people on the FBI terrorist watch list in fiscal year 2024. Joining me right now is Center for Immigration Studies senior national security fellow, a fellow and author of Overrun, How Joe Biden Unleashed the Greatest Border Crisis in U.S. History. Todd Benzman back with us. Todd, great to see you. Thanks very much. And it certainly feels like the border is overrun in, in various places. Um, what about these people on the terrorist watch list? What's your reaction to that exchange there with Mayorkas? Uh, it was kind of to be expected. You know, the, the, the administration does not want to talk about the suspected terrorists crossing the border. I would have liked to have seen somebody ask him about the latest case of an Afghan who was accidentally released into the country, who was on the terror watch list for an entire year, released once and then released a second time. Two times this guy was released uh, ru running around the country for a year. They finally caught up to him here in Texas, in San Antonio. And that is like the sixth or seventh time that a suspected terrorist was accidentally released into the country directly due to the volume of people crossing the border has overwhelmed all of our systems. And now we're making these terrible mistakes. And fingers crossed on that, Maria. Yeah, I mean, fingers crossed on that. Uh, and we were talking earlier, actually, in the middle of the break, it took 19 people to take down the trade towers back in uh, on 9-11. Mm -hmm. How worried should we be and how do we get a handle on it? I think absolutely very worried. <laughs> if you talk to any of our national security intelligence officers, chatter is higher than it was pre-9-11. And so, and the numbers that you had with the um, terrorist watch lift coming over the border in 2024, 250 that we know about came over in 2023. And that's only what we know about. Mm -hmm. And so how many of these people, because of the Biden administration, are throughout the country planning and waiting to do something to American citizens. What do you think, Todd? I mean, uh, Customs and Border Patrol data reveals a, a slight decline in arrests of illegal border crossings in March in Texas, and that's largely due to the Texas Governor Abbott and his security measures and, and Mexico cracking down on, on migrant crossers, they claim. Despite the March slowdown, illegal migrant encounters still skyrocketing to a record high in the first six months of fiscal year 2024. I know you're at the Del Rio, Texas border right now. What are you seeing and what can you tell us? Right. The Del Rio sector is probably typical of a lot of the Texas sectors, which is that the Mexican government, under a diplomatic agreement with Joe Biden, has deployed 30,000 troops to clear them out on the northern Mexican side. I was just in Juarez all uh, last week and I watched them do this. I watched hundreds of immigrant Mexican immigration officers. That is something that they're doing for political optics. They'll probably keep trying to do that through just November. I want people to remember that this is a temporary thing. The Mexicans are asking for $20 billion in exchange for this. We can't tell if money has changed hands, but the spigot is wide open still in Arizona and California where we're seeing 4,000 and 5,000 a day coming through. Uh, from all over the world, including from all of those Muslim-majority nations. Uh, this, this is still a major crisis, and I just want to mention one other uh, flow that nobody's really paying attention to, and that is the flights under parole. They're bringing thousands more in under, quote-unquote, permission uh, directly from foreign airports into U.S. airports, and they're also walking thousands more every month over the land bridges in, into ports of entry under wow. CBP-1, a, a phone app, that nobody's counting. When you see these numbers, you're not seeing those under, other numbers, and that's by design. Yeah, and you're, not, and you're also not seeing the gotaways numbers, but you're right. I mean, the flights are making Two million. The, 
the, the flights that Biden is, is leading uh, are making the border look better. But you can't forget that these people are being flown in. When they get here, what are they being given? I know that another alleviation uh, for the migrants that Joe Biden has led is work permits. Are they five-year work permits? All of them are immediately eligible, the ones that are being flown in and walked in over the land ports, eight different land ports. Don't forget that. Uh, they're being given uh, work authorization almost immediately, which makes them eligible for a whole range of other public welfare benefits, not to mention what local states give them. Like in Illinois, I think they're giving them, you know, thousands of dollars every month for uh, rental assistance. They are supposed to have sponsors here, financial sponsors, but nobody polices the sponsors at all. It could be anybody. They make them up. Uh, they make up addresses. They, they Nobody's checking anything. I talked to a Border Patrol agent just yesterday down here who said that when they come in without identification, uh, we just our orders are just to like write down whatever name they give, a, wow. give us and then we just uh, put them right through the turnstile. Not good. That's incredible. And, and you're right. Each city or state's doing it the way they want to do it. Like there's this $53 billion in, in these prepaid debit cards that New York City is giving to them as well. Since October of last year, there were over 24,000 Chinese migrant southern border encounters. I want to get your take on this because the majority of those crossings are happening in California. 135 in Arizona, 91 in Texas, and just four in Mexico. Nearly all of the California crossings happening in the San Diego sector were the total amount of Chinese border encounters so far this year, and that's since October, uh, is 24,000. Uh, that surpassed the last three years combined, Todd. What are your thoughts or what are you hearing about the motivation of these Chinese nationals who are coming across? I think the majority of them are going to be economic migrants. They're coming here because they want to live in the United States. Uh, the problem is that the administration used to have, up until a few months ago, uh, 20 different questions that they would ask every one of them to try to discern who they are. Are they military? Are they es agents of espionage, et cetera? They reduced that number of questions to be asked to five, uh, which is to just get them through as quickly as they possibly can. Wow. Look, the Chinese mm -hmm. government is not stupid. They understand that this is a great avenue for them to import into the United States agents of espionage, economic espionage, military espionage. Right. espionage. For the next 10 or 20 years, we're going to be hearing about that. Exactly. And that's why I, I always make the point that you just can't get up and leave communist China. You're either being directed to come here or certainly approved to come here to carry on whatever work it is, whether it's surveillance or the the production and, 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 and distribution of fentanyl. There's absolutely no question that the Chinese government knows that this is happening. Yeah. Uh, most of them are coming in on, like they're going into South America on tourist visas, like the Galapagos Islands or something. Uh, and of course they never return. The Chinese government knows this full well and they're, they're going to bring uh, agents in here. But most of them are probably economic immigrants. We just don't know who they are, and that's the problem. Yes, that's always course. the problem. Of course. Todd, thank you. Todd Bensman, uh, we so appreciate your time.